Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? Solution from what we have here. Let's take x to the right hand side. Then we have this becomes 5 raised to the power x equals to 7 minus x. Then next step from here, divide both side by 5 raised to the power x. And also divide this side by 5 raised to the power x. Then here this cancel each other and we have 1 here. Which implies 1 equals to 7 minus x over 5 raised to the power x. Then we can also write this side first. And write it as 7 minus x. Then multiply by. 1 over 5 raised to power x then equals to 1 on this side then from what we have here we can also write from when we have 1 over a raised to power n which is also a raised to power minus n we can write this and we have 7 minus x into brackets then times 5 raised to the power minus x from here which is equals to 1 on this side then we want to use the Lambert w function that is when we have w function of alpha exponent alpha here this is same thing as alpha now the power and the coefficient are the same and from here let's make this power of 5 to be 7 minus x which implies here we can multiply through by 5 raised to power 7 here then we have this becomes 7 minus x then multiply by 5 raised to power 7 then it's 5 raised to power minus x then equals to 1 times 5 raised to the power 7 from here. Then, when we apply the law of indices, we have this power together. Then this becomes 7 minus x. Then, multiply by 7 minus x. Then, multiply by 5 raised to the power 7 minus x here, which is equal to 5 raised to power 7 from here then next step here we can write 5 from when we have exponent ln a which is equals to a then also 5 can be written as exponent ln 5 so this is equals to 5 that is here this equation becomes 7 minus x into brackets multiply by exponent ln5 which is raised to the power 7 minus x here then equals to 5 raised to the power 7 on this side then from the power law of logarithm from what we have ln m raised to the power p which is also p ln m then this power here we can take it here then this give us 7 minus x then multiply by exponent 7 minus x ln 5 here then equals to 5 raised to the power 7 from here that is here from the lambda w function w alpha exponent alpha is equals to alpha here to make this power and the coefficient equal we need to multiply through by ln5 so multiply this equation through by ln5 then this equation becomes 7 minus x multiply by ln5 here then exponent into bracket 7 minus x and then 5 then equals to 5 raised to power 7 and then 5 
Now, from here, now we can take the W function on both sides, and we have W into bracket. Here we have 7 minus x, ln 5, exponent 7 minus x, ln 5, close bracket, equals to also here we have W into bracket 5 raised to power 7, ln 5 here. That is here, following this, what we have here will become 7 minus x ln 5 here, then equals to w into bracket 5 raised to power 7 ln 5 from here. Then here, let's divide both sides by ln 5. So divide this side by ln 5. And also divide this side by ln5. Here ln5 cancel each other, which gives us 7 minus x equals to w into bracket 5 raised to the power 7 ln5, then over ln5 from here. Then from here and here, since we are finding x. When we take minus x to this side, it becomes plus, and we take everything on this side to this side. So we have 7 minus w into bracket 5 raised to the power 7, ln 5, then over ln 5, then equals to x from here. So therefore, the value of x here is then equals to 7 minus w into bracket 5 raised to power 7 ln 5 over ln 5 and which also we can put it in decimal by pressing this in the calculator and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now